Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Teresa. For those of you that are new, thank you for joining me. And for those of you that have been here before, thank you for coming back again today. As you can see, we're all set up to do some printing. And today I'm going to be using my four inch round plate. Um, I use the Jelly Arts brand plates. You can use any gel plates. They do they do all pretty much work the same. I just happen to have these and say, I haven't used my circular one for a while. So I thought, let's, let's just change it up and do some round prints. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use alcohol inks on your plate to create some really interesting prints. And I've got a whole selection here um, of, you know, lots of different colours of alcohol inks. Again, there are different brands available. The ones I've got here are the Ranger ones. That's what I'm going to be using today. I've also got some paint. Um, and I've just chosen some neutral coloured paints here because these are going to be the background basically for lifting the ink off the plate. So a couple of different things to try. I've got a white, a pale grey, a um, buff colour and I've also got a metallic pearl. But as you can see, all neutral colours that aren't really going to interfere with the colour of the alcohol inks. I've got a selection of stencils um, for creating some pattern on the plate different brands, different shapes and sizes of stencil, and a couple of things here for added um, texture. I've got a little rubber texture tool, some sequin waste, and some bubble wrap. To my left, I've got a brayer. I've got my small, small brayer today, just because I'm using a small plate. And I've got a piece of, um, just a piece of acrylic that I'm using almost as a paint palette, just to brayer out some paint on there, ready to pop on my plate. I've got some paper ready for printing on, and this is just regular printer copier paper. Nothing fancy today, will work absolutely fine on here. And other than that, I mean, I've got a few things for cleaning up. In order to get the alcohol inks off the stencil, because there will be some colouring left on the stencil, um, I've just got some isopropyl alcohol, some rubbing alcohol. Um, you could use like a hand sanitizer with alcohol that'll help fetch it off or you could take the most expensive option which would be to use um like some of the blending solution but cheapest option really would be the hand sanitizer or alcohol and I've got a huge bottle of alcohol and a cloth and I'll be able to clean my stencils off with that when I've finished. So I'm just going to move these little bits and pieces just out of the way temporarily ready to get on um, with starting doing the printing always end up working on a tiny little space. I get cluttered up with everything that we've got. And to begin with, I'm going to choose a few colours of alcohol inks um, that sort of go together in my mind. So I'm going to take the Limeade and Stream and we'll have Indigo And I think a little of the sunshine yellow. So those are colours that are going to work well together. Um, they're not going to create a muddy effect. You don't want that. And we're going to begin by popping a little bit of alcohol ink colour direct onto the plate. And for this, I'm going to use the lighter two colours. So I'm going to use the sunshine yellow and limeade. Now, alcohol ink, for those of you that have used it in various other projects, you know it dries pretty quickly. But we can use that to our advantage um, here because we can get a base colour down and then we can pop a stencil on and add other colour on top to create a pattern. And then by adding a thin coat of paint on top of that, we can lift a print. So I've got some colour down on my plate, a thin layer of colour. I'm going to take um, a stencil. This is a paper artsy stencil. I like this because it's a really nice um, size to fit on this plate. And I'm just going to pop that down on top and then just ever so lightly with my brayer just make sure that that stencil is is down on the surface and already this ink that's on there 
it's touched dry. And then we can add in our darker colours, which for this is Stream and Indigo. And then just use that brayer to blend the colour over the surface. Now, as you can see, you're going to end up with ink on the brayer. So let's say if we've got something to clean that up with, that's going to be great. I can lift my stencil off. Just pop that to one side for now. And then I'm going to take my colour of paint. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to use this buff paint. I'm just going to pop some on my acrylic plate just to the side here. Let's see if I can move that into shot for you. Just checking that that is pretty much dry now. We can lightly roll a little paint over the surface of the plate. Take our piece of paper and press that down. And that gives us a really nice, crisp, detailed um, print. The, the alcohol ink doesn't sort of go as sort of smudgy as paint does. It, it leaves quite a crisp image. So really I'm happy with that. There's a little bit of paint and ink left on here. If you want to do a clean up, you can do. So I'm just going to get another piece of paper ready. I think I'll just pop a bit more paint over the top just because I don't really want remnants of previous prints to sort of interfere with the ones that we're doing next. there that's fetched a lot more of that paint off and that you can keep and use as a starting point for a, a future print or you can use it as a background and stamp on it you know it's entirely up to you you don't have to use it but it is there if, if you want and you could always go back in with another stencil and, and use that at a future point so i'm just going to clean my brayer off here and i'm just going to clean the paint off my plate because I'm going to use a different colour in the next one and I'll be right back. Okay so this time I'm going to be using some warm colours. I've got coral and flamingo and terracotta and I'm going to pop some ink on the plate like we did last time. I'm going to be using a stencil. Um, this one's quite an old one from the crafters workshop but because it's quite an open design, I thought it might be fun to see if we can add some patterning in behind this one before we start. So I'm going to use the coral colour. And just going to evenly brayer that on the surface. And then take this texture tool 
and see if we can't make some markings in that alcohol ink in the background. There we go. So again, going to give that a moment to just dry off. Doesn't take too long at all. Then I'm going to place my stencil down like so. Just lightly press it down in place just so it makes contact. Then I'm going to take the darker colours, which were terracotta and flamingo. And just bray those over the surface. Once again, lift that stencil up and just pop it to one side until I'm ready to clean it. And I'm going to use the white paint this time. Get our piece of paper, press down firmly all over and then we can pull the print. So there that's pulled up a really interesting print. Can't really see any of that texture in the background though. Just a little bit there. I think my colours are too similar. I think I'm going to try that technique again, but I'm going to use a different colour scheme this time. But really happy with actually how that print's turned out, um, apart from the not being able to see those stripes too well. So let's try that one again with some different colours. So I'm going to try by using a blue in the background and then putting the pink reds over the top and see if this shows up any more with that texture. Okay, now that that background's pretty much dry, I'm going to pop my stencil back on again and put this flamingo colour over the top. Let's just make sure that stencil's stuck down. And get a little more white paint. And give it a good firm press all over. And definitely there, with that blue being a darker colour, and we can see a much better contrast with the extra stripes that we got in the background. So really interesting print once again, very happy with that. So again, just going to clean up and I shall be back. Um, this time we'll be using some bubble wrap to add some extra texture. So to begin with this time, I'm going to use raspberry and I'm going to cover the plate with a thin layer of ink.
Then I'm going to take my piece of bubble wrap. And quickly but carefully just press that down to create some patterning there. And I'm going to give that a moment or two to finish just becoming touch dry. And I'm going to take a stencil and this one, this is a floral one from um, Joggles. And just going to pop that like so and again just light pressure all over just just to make sure it's it's adhered to the, the plate we don't want too much ink soaking underneath and I'm going to use um, sunshine yellow I was going to use some orange as well, but I think I'm just going to use sunshine yellow because I think by the time this is mixed with that, that pink, it's going to create an orange colour anyway. Just going to bray that over the surface. Carefully remove the stencil. And I think this time we'll try some of this pearl paint see if we can give it a little metallic um, shimmer and take our piece of paper and pull a print And can you see there how the light's catching that really, really pretty um, shimmery effect? I think I'm going to try that one again, but I'm going to use a darker colour um, in the background. Yeah, I'm going to use the indigo. Let's see what it looks like with the indigo. I quite like that though with the shimmery effect, so I, I want to do that one again. So once again, using the bubble wrap just to lift a bit of ink off the plate. Popping the stencil back in place. Just going to lightly press that stencil down. And... I'm going to use this um, raspberry colour. Lift the stencil out the way. And apply the pearl paint. And you get such a lovely um, crisp image really where the stencil was, but that pearl effect is very, very pretty. I'm just going to lift off um, the excess that's left on here. Use up this bit of paint I've got. And again, it's a, it's a good start for a future print or something that you want to stamp on. So quite happy that we've, we've not wasted that. And for this print, I'm going to be using um, this stencil. It's a deco art stencil. And I'm going to use the sequin waste um, that I've got. 
or but you could use any other stencil maybe with a small design on it and I'm going to be begin by putting the pistachio on the plate So to begin, thin layer of pistachio green on the plate and we're just going to allow that to dry briefly. So next I'm going to pop this piece of sequin waste on. Just lightly press that down. And I'm going to apply the sailboat blue. Once again, just going to let that dry briefly. Then I'm leaving the stencil in place this time. Then I'm going to pop my other stencil on top. And I want this slightly off center, I've decided. Now this is going to be a little more tricky to get to stay in place because it's not really going to be adhering much to the plate but um, we'll do our best to keep that in place and I'm going to add some of the pitch black and brayer that over So at this point we can remove the two stencils and I'm going to use some of this uh, medium grey well you win some you lose some that one didn't turn out how I wanted it to we'll try it again using some different colors and I'm not going to use the black this time so I'm going to try this one again I'm going to try it with limeade mermaid and indigo and see if we have any better results um, so I'm going to start off with limeade pop that on the plate and allow that to dry for a moment or two and instead of putting the sequin waste on next I'm going to pop the stencil on just dry that off it's a little bit damp where I've rinsed it So I'm going to pop that on next and then apply the mermaid ink. I'm leaving that in place and just giving it a moment to dry and then we're going to be popping the sequin waste on top. And I'm going to apply some of this indigo. So 
So we'll remove both of those. And apply a thin coat of this pale grey. There, much happier with that, more definition. Um, I think it helped putting the stencils on in the other order, um, but also I think the black's just, it's just too heavy. It kind of obliterated everything. But yeah, happy with that as well. So I'm going to clear these out of the way, um, clear up this paint and these stencils, and then I'll be back again. So here are the prints that we've made in this session today. So we started off with this print with the flower stencil and then I had a clean up print just to get that excess ink and paint off the plate. We then did this one here where we tried to put a bit of texture in the background and it shows in a couple of places. So we've tried it with a different colour scheme and it showed up much better. Then we used um, the floral stencil and a pearl paint behind and that gave a really pretty summery effect. So we did that one again in a different colourway. And that then was another just clean up um, print, getting rid of the excess ink. We had our one real sort of disaster of the day, which was this one, which just, just didn't work too well. It would be useful for a background for something. I'm not going to discard it, but it, it didn't turn out how I wanted it to. So we retried that with some different colours and got a much better definition in there. So I'm going to go and wash my hands, um, get rid of some of this inky mess that's all over me and make up a couple of quick um, ideas of how to use these prints in a card. Here are the finished cards that I've made. As always, I've kept these really simple. You know, you've put the effort into the print and you want that to be the thing that shows. So I've literally matted and layered onto some coloured card, added a little quote sticker at the bottom with this one and I think that's absolutely fine. I've then took this one here and took the inspiration from the floral design and just added some ephemera. This is um, some of the ideology, um, sort of, it's like floral die cut shapes and added just a clipping sticker in the bottom there and I think that's a nice simple card. Um, the second one that we did, I've just left it as it is because it's a nice clear print, just popped the sticker on and that's just a nice little note card to stick in the post to somebody. Next was the one where we added um, like the stripes in the background. This first print, obviously the stripes weren't so obvious, but it's a really nice backdrop. And I've added one of these um, chipboard paper dolls with some transparent wings. And again, a little clipping sticker on the bottom. And I think that's a really pretty card. And so because I've liked that so much, did something very similar with the other background that we created in the same way. This time I actually die cut the circle out and matted it onto black card for more of a contrast. But again, just a clippings um, sticker in the bottom and one of these paper doll chipboards and some wings. Then this was the print that I didn't actually like because it came out very dark. But as it turned out, it made a really nice backdrop for this um, card here. One of the paper dolls, one of the clipping stickers and again, just a quick fun card there. And finally, um, the second one that we did, you know, using the, the two different stencils, uh, die cut that out onto some coloured card, put a die cut of a flower on and a little sticker in the corner. And again, simple card, but just hopefully showing you some of the things that you can do with these backgrounds um, that we created today. Now, I've cleaned my hands. There's still some staining on there. If you don't want to get your hands stained, wear a pair of gloves. My gel plate does stain um, with the alcohol inks. It's sort of stained like a yellowy colour. And this is the third one that I've used alcohol inks on. And yes, it does affect the colour of the, the gel plate, but that colour does not transfer. It doesn't harm it in any way whatsoever. But that's just something to bear in mind if you are picky about keeping your things looking brand new. It doesn't bother me in the same way it doesn't bother me if my clear stamps get stained by ink. It doesn't affect the performance. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. But just a point to look out for there. 
but as always if you enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'll add this to my playlist of, of jelly plate techniques and videos take a look over there if you haven't already there's lots of different ideas for using your gel plates but for now that's all bye